Hello everybody, I am just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. <laughs> Anyways, I have been tagged by um, one heck of a kid. Uh, he's the DC Shaves son. His name is Elijah and his channel is the EC Shaves. Um, Elijah, you got some awesome camera presence, dude. Um, you are definitely better on camera than I was in my earlier videos when I first started this channel. Anyways, so Elijah went ahead and he tagged me for a budget shave. Um, so Elijah, once again, thank you for that. So I'm going ahead and I'm using my most budget friendly products that I have. Um, so let's take a look at it. the razor. I paid ten dollars for it on a trip to Northern California to meet my girlfriend's grandmother, aunt, uncle, and cousins for the first time. And it is this. This is a Jim Micromatic Open Comb Razor. Um, the blade is a Persona Blue Star or Jim Blue Star. And uh, honestly, I don't have any idea how many shapes I have on it. It's still going strong. So, and the brush, um, some of my older viewers have seen it. My newer viewers, Ken Serves has that really cool, awesome crystal skull. I have this. This is my skull goblet soaker, which I ended up getting from my brother a number of years ago as a gift for Halloween. The brush you can find I saw them as low as between four and five bucks on some sites and as high as like six to seven dollars and it is this my son got it for me for gave it to me for Christmas a couple of years back and this is a Burma shave shaving brush here in the States you can find them at uh, razors direct dot, dot razors direct dot com uh, that's for four something, I believe. Um, and just other sites carry them at different prices. The soap is pretty easy to find. And it is this. Is it, a, it is a Lataja soap stick, which comes in this really cool plastic tube that comes off. And you just go ahead and you take the soap stick. And when it's done, it's got a little hole here in the back so you can pop the stick out what's left of it and then pop the new stick in it's got little ridges to kind of dig into the soap and hold it in place yeah my dog's barking at my girlfriend out there playing um and i'm going to use a pre-shave i would use the the paa cube which those run about five bucks um at phoenixshaving.com but i'm going to use something you can find in a lot of big box stores like Target and it is this it is the Cremo cooling brushless shave cream and it's got a pretty good hint of, a pretty good hit of menthol in it so I'm just going to use that as my pre-shave and the aftershave less than five bucks at Walmart Oppo Velva Ice Blue so let's go ahead and let's wet the bristles and uh, get get soaked up Our pre shaved duck. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope the current current health crisis going on, grab my shave down, going on hasn't gotten you if you're watching. And if it has touched you or your family, uh, my thoughts really go out to you. So this cremo, it's got a nice little flip top. I just squeeze about that much in my hand or into a couple of fingers, rub it around. I'm going to be using cold water in this shade. I was going to do a, I did do a video 
that I didn't upload. I hadn't edited it out yet. Um, where I used that WSP soap I got from Sledhead. And uh, I saw my name on the tag video from Elijah. So I figured I'd get this out of the way. And then uh, go ahead and just do the WSP in a later video. I think it'd be a good salt pour video I'm going to have coming up. I won't say what I got. All I will say is this, um, they're really cool products. Um, one of them is vintage and comes from across the pond or originally did. Over there in the UK, it was actually a product that was made for Brooks Brothers there in England. And that's all I'll say. That's all I'll say. It is vintage. It is quite old. Or it is old. And um, it's a product I was absolutely tickled to death to go ahead and um, locate when I found it. Now, if you've never used a shave stick or a soap stick, you just... You know, you wet your face, all that good stuff, and you just rub it. Just rub it around where you need it. Um, you can take a brush and do the Paul H method. Where you basically load right off the stick. Rinse the hand. Oh, now in Elijah, now that now that I know I've got a younger viewer, I'll try real hard not to say no naughty no, no bad words. No words that would get you in trouble from your folks. Besides, um I'm a parent. I know what it's like for another parent to say something. Or do something in front of your kid, whether it's on video or whatever, where you're like, eh, I don't really approve of that. You know, and then you're like, hey, please don't do that. Um, my kid saw that. So. I'll go ahead and this uh, Vermiche brush is pretty good, actually. I'm mostly a, yeah, I can feel that menthol from the, from the cremo kicking in. Feels quite nice. I'll mention my tags here at the end of the video. Well, you of course saw them because I listed them in the, in the title <laughs> so as you can see the lather is building up in the brush quite nice Not a real super thick lather. I imagine you could work it into one. But it's cool for me because I'm not one of those guys that works on uber thick lather because one, I can't see what I'm doing with the lather. And two, this works for me.
Now I'm sure you could get a really thick just luminous lather off of the, the Latadia. But well. I'm a little bit lazy about that. So anyways, ride the cap. Oh, I need to change the blade real quick, guys. Which is, luckily, I ended up bringing my extra pack of blades because I thought maybe this would happen. Drop that in the homemade blade bank. Now, if you've never done this type of shaving, the blades that come in this, and you just slide them on out. And here at the back, it's actually in the front, it's actually got a little thing where you can stick your spent blades. There we go. Better. Much better. And these blades, you can get them at Walgreens, CVS, other places for Five bucks for ten. And if you think, oh, I could save so much money with that razor and just go down to Home Depot or Lowe's and grab a big old box of them. Because they do look like paint scraper blades. And, um, Trust me, you don't want to use that kind of blade because they're not sharp enough to cut through whiskers. They're great for paint or getting gum or something off of a window or stickers off a mirror. But they ain't good enough for shaving. Well, I got a pimple on my top lip. Hope I don't take it off. There we are. There we are. Oh, the MC shaves. Um, which I found out he does have a channel. Is doing a blade bracket elimination video. Or did one and he's doing this until Sunday he says in the video Friday which would be today um, it's actually a very early morning on Friday it's like one or something in the morning but um and uh, it's kind of like a basketball NCAA Elimination bracket or draft bracket, whatever it's called. I'm not a basketball fan, so I don't follow the sport. But um, I'll link that video at uh, below here in the description. You can check it out, and um, he's going to do something for the winner. 
So. Go check it out. It's a good video. Oh. Um. I'm really getting a kick out of these blindfolded shades that's going around. A lot of guys, quite a number of guys have done them so far. Um, Luis over there on the budget shaver, he's done one. Um, of course, Chris Bailey, he started it. Heavy Shades, DK at Downplaying Shades. Um, Ken Surfs. Bunch of other guys have done them. And, um, Kevy Shays had mentioned me in the video. And, uh, he said I wasn't sure what my vision was. So, I'll go ahead and I'll explain that to you guys because some of you know what my vision's like. We've been watching my channel for a while. But, some of you new guys, which, oh, by the way, I'm up to 100 subscribers. Um, so, thank you, all new subscribers. Thank you, Sledhead, for going ahead and mentioning my channel on your thing and on one of your videos. And when you announce the winner of your giveaway, Cross Growth, I think I said. Um, so, but, uh, anyways, I was born with congenital glaucoma. So I've been blind one extent or another my entire life. And, uh, I used to be able to ride ATCs, if you're old enough to remember that, remember those. Well, I had 1980 Honda 200S, board out to a 250. Um, it was fun, but God, it was dangerous. There was a number of times when my butt clenched to the seat because I thought I was going to go over, head over teacup, so to speak. Um, you know, get airborne over the handlebars. Uh, multiple times I almost flipped it because I took a corner and didn't put enough weight over the opposite tire. Like doing a left turn, didn't throw enough weight over the, or throwing enough weight into the inside tire. Um, and uh, would start to tip, and the only thing I could do is go ahead and, um, you know, throw my foot out, and because I got long legs, and put my heel down, and I just go around the circle. And they tell you never put your feet down when you're riding; the tire will drag you off. Which is true; those back tires will pull you off if you're riding one and you put your foot down. So, uh, used to go deer hunting, never got anything because I wasn't hunting long enough when I got out of it. Let's add a little bit more soap to the face. Then I got out of it and now I was going to get back in it and getting everything ready and I could punch a nine inch pipe plate dead center at 50 yards to scope on my gun which was a Marlin 336 CS gold trigger because the trigger was gold plated. Had a scope with a four x 12 veritable. It was a four x 12 veritable scope and it had a range adjustment for 20 to 1,000 yards, 20 yards to 1,000 yards. So there's no way I would have been able to hit anything at 1,000 yards and where I hunt it 50 yards was about the most distance you could get because of the terrain on a shot. I think I might have nicked myself. I'm not sure. 
But uh, then I got out of hunting and I was gonna get back into it and I was getting everything, went out and got a Marlin 35 caliber, can't remember the model of the gun, lever action, like my 336 was. And um, watching the 2002 Winter Olympics on a 27 inch screen TV, waiting for them to get their act together at the eye doctor I was going to who dropped the ball severely. And um, for me to get a shunt, which is like a valve, that's inserted into the eye. And um, to relieve pressure, because my pressure was over 30. If you know anything about eye pressure, you know that's bad. Um, So, my eye finally, the inside just, the eye finally just like, Doop, I'm done, and gave up. And it looked like I got dropped into a middle of a big old fog bank. Oh, here I am soaking up, like I'm going to do a big pass, and it's the third pass, so. The soap does have okay residual slickness, not bad. I think the... Could be wrong, but a little bit of water. I think the Arco might have a little more. Or I might have just not had enough water. Here I'm saying something about the lather, and I think this lather is probably the biggest of all. Yeah. Just give a little bit of water on it. But, um, so, I had to sell the rifle. Um, that I had. We got for the new replacement gun. So, um, sold the rifle. Back to the guy that bought it, I bought it off of which I tell a story about that in my very second video um, with shaving blindness and some things I've learned along the way. I'll go ahead and link that down if you want to learn a little more. But uh, let's just say that my friend ended up <laughs> going to clean a gun while drunk. So that's how I ended up getting the gun. And, uh, Barney Fife, which is what I thought of him as, <laughs> at least for that, he was really safe with guns until that night. Um, he's lucky he didn't, he's lucky he went ahead and didn't shoot him, shoot himself somewhere else than the knee. So, uh, he bought the gun back. So, he never touched a gun drunk anymore, I guarantee that. But, um, so yeah, it's a bit of a story of my blindness. I see light, I see shadow, my vision, from what my doctor that I had told me. My vision was basically, his opinion, 20 slash 1600, which means somebody with perfectly good sight at 2020, what they see at 1600 feet away, I need to be 20 feet away before I see it. So, yeah. No deer hunting for a guy like me. <laughs> but, I had fun growing up. Mariah's prosthetic, I've had that since uh, I was a freshman in high school. Um, I went ahead and went back to school after I recovered from the surgery. And um, then it came time to fit me for a prosthesis, which if you can see, it moves, which is, they hook a little shaped piece of coral ball into your eye socket and hook it up to the muscle groups. But, um, <laughs> I was in... 
cafeteria where I lived or in the high school I went to and um I was putting together a ham and cheese sandwich and I bought a hot ham and cheese I was reaching across for the pickles and um I leaned over a big tub of ranch dressing that had just been put out. And my prosthesis slipped out of the socket, plunk right into the um, ranch dressing. Half the cafeteria freaked out. People were getting up, heading for the door. It's like, I don't know, it's like, you know, a skunk just walked in the room. Um, running for the door, girls hiding their face in their boyfriends, uh, against their boyfriend's shoulders or whatever. Just everybody freaked. So I got my hand stuck down in this tub of dressing and I'm like searching around and I find it and I shake it off and I go up to the counter and I ask the lay holding up my prosthesis with a napkin underneath my elbow catching ranch dressing and I'm all, is there somewhere I could rinse this off? She's all, uh, 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 follow me. And she took me to a sink. And there's this guy, his name was Norm. And he had his hand rested on his chin. Or his chin resting on his hand. Propped up on his elbow. And he's all, I just put that dressing out. Now I got to throw it all away. So, anyways. Let's go ahead and let's fill around. So after that, a little bit there. Now we're gonna get more water on here. The slip, residual slickness really, really just comes out. I didn't have enough water, so it's a little irritated along here and a little bit around my mouth. But that's my fault, not the soaps. It's like the second time I've used this soap stick, so. And I'll be doing a, so you wanna be a wet shaver video here soon. I'm going to talk about soap sticks. I'm thinking about showing how to make your own. So, I kind of neglected that series on my channel, so I want to get back over to it. But, students found out my eye would come out and they'd come up to me and go, Dude, take your eye out, which I will finish this when I come back for the album. Anyways, Old Spice Alum Stick, let me wet. Anyways, kids would come up to me when they found out my eye would come, could come out. Oh yeah, it's barking. Um, oh yeah, oh, ow, 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 ooh. Oh, I got a joke for you, EC, and for Johan. Um, the uh, Wade Butcher. What? did this is a dad joke by the way but what did the cannibal find or what did no let me restart that what did the cannibal have for dinner when he came home late for dinner the cold shoulder Some of you are probably chuckling. Others of you are probably like, oh, God. That was horrible. Got one more. Why is it when a pterodactyl goes to the bathroom, you never hear it? Because the pee is silent. <laughs> Anyways, those are for you, Johan and Elijah. Anyways, so I'll go ahead. Rinse off here. And we'll get to the post. That's good. That was a pretty decent shave. Other than getting a lot of irritation on my cheeks and around my mouth a little bit. I mean, a lot of irritation down my neck and a little bit. But I know why I got this here because I had already shaved it and swiped the soap away. And I was like <laughs> doing it again. And that was, you know, when there wasn't quite enough water in the soap. So it wasn't as slick as it could be. So that's why I got quite a bit of irritation here. 
Um, so I'm not blaming that on the soap or any of the gear. Um, but my cheeks, BBS, definitely BBS. Um, upper lip, ain't back. God, I got to trim those hairs. Um, nose and ear hair is EC, something you have to look forward to when you get up in your 40s and 50s. <laughs> But, um, my dome, I went ahead and did the first pass with the gym. Um, this is a little back, a bit back here, but my head's a little irritated too. I have a couple of pimples that I nailed and I don't want to risk nailing them again. Uh, but all in all, not bad. Uh, the razor did pretty good. Um, There's a little rough in spots, which normally that razor is not like that. Maybe my angle was off a bit. Uh, probably, I don't know. But for the most part, it was good. The Lataja soap stick, which I got the gym for 10. Um, the blades, you can get them at CVS. You can order them online at places like razordirect.com. And if you order them off at eBay, this is very important. If you order them off eBay, if you've never ordered these types of blades before, um, make sure, because you'll see like Persona, um, and it'll show those types of blades. And it'll say 100 for $4.99, whatever. And you think, wow, 100 blades for my gym or Ever Ready, because they work in Ever Ready's too, and Star Razors, the old Star Razors, single edge ones. And you say, wow, that's a good deal, five bucks, and I got a hundred blades. Man, I'll be shaving for weeks or for, for, for months on that. Look in the description and make sure that it says that they are for one of two things, either for shaving or triple faceted. If they say double faceted, then they are for paint scraping, taking tape and stickers off of windows and mirrors. And they're not for shaving. And if you use one that's only double faceted, I guarantee you, you're going to throw the razor down. You're going to grab the stiff dick, start applying and say, oh my God, I'm never using one of these razors again. It just ripped me to shreds. Um, I've heard horror stories, absolute horror stories of guys using those, those, the wrong blade in these razors and if you use something like the Jim Micromatic Open Comb which if you've never seen the head of one let me take the blade out so you get a better idea I don't know if you can see it or not but as you can see that's got a decent comb on it um it will kick your butt it will kick your butt um so they have to say for shaving or triple faceted and that's the only ones you need to use are they something like the gym blue stars those are for shaving they're not for scraping paint so anyways but uh yeah the shave's not bad but anyways like i was saying I went ahead and uh, I've never been one of those kind of people with the blindness like oh how dare you ask me about my vision anything like that and, and um, I've had people at, you know so in high school and when they would ask me I'd never say anything because that incident I described about my iPhone in the ranch dressing was I still remember the date October 21st 19 84 but um because it was just such a dramatic point in my life not because anything bad happened to me but because of the reaction I got but anyways other students would come up well, that's the only blind guy or the only guy with a glass eye in my high school and they'd be like dude we hear you can take your eye out man can you take it out for me or can you take it out for us? 
I'd shrug. Yeah, sure. So I'd take it out and show them. They'd be like, oh, wow, because I'm the kind of person that like, hey, if you got a question about my sight or my glass eye or my prosthetic eye or anything, just ask. You know, I'd rather somebody be educated than be ignorant of a subject. But anyways, my brother, Curtis, my younger brother, he says, dude, why are you doing it for free? And I said, what? And he goes, look, everybody keeps coming to you. I mean, we had had guys that would come up to me, guys and gals that would come up to me at least once or twice a week. Hey, pop your eye out. So he's all, charge him a buck. A buck? Yeah, you know what? What the heck? They're either going to pay me or they're just going to leave me alone. He's exactly. So one day I got, hey, dude. You're the guy that can take your eye out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just I just start going to school here, man. My friend was telling me about I gotta see it. You got a dollar? What? Think you wanna see my eye? Give me a buck and I'll pop it out. Okay, so he gave me a dollar, so I was taking my eye out for a buck a pop, you know. But anyways, um, so yeah. Uh let's see, let's go with Nivea for sensitive skin, which I gotta get more. I'm almost out. This is under five bucks a thing. Yeah, the gem was 10. The brush, you can get them for around five, a little more, a little less, but definitely under 10. The blades, five bucks for 10. Uh, the soap stick, you know, it's like 550. The one I used, you can get soap, you can get the, um, what is it? The other one I'll remember it in a minute but you can get it for under five I'm totally brain farted but anyways yeah the one with the from Turkey you can get Derby soap sticks real cheap Arco Arco that's the one you can get the Arco for under five bucks the stick you can get a dozen of them in a box for really cheap. Soap sticks are very cheap. And you can even make your own, which like I said, I'll do a video later on showing that. And also, too, I know this video is going to be long, guys. If you're still with me, I appreciate it. Um, on my last video, there's only like two comments. Now, either people's been really busy and haven't had a chance to watch it people that normally comment which is cool that's fine I have no problem with it but this is the first time I've ever had a video that's only had two comments in a very long time so what I'm thinking is happening is when people are commenting on my videos it is sending at least on this last one the, the single ring shade it is sending those comments into my spam folder I'm trying to figure out how to get into my YouTube spam folder with my accessible technology. So if you commented and I did not respond to you, I apologize, but it went ahead and it sent you to spam. Oh, and Dapper Dave is actually a subscriber. So officially, welcome to the channel, Dave. And um, I'm probably going to be going and getting my new guide dog, my next guide dog, up in either San Rafael, California, or Oregon um, at the end of the summer, if everything calms down by then. And, oh yeah. Mm. And if I do, um, I'm going to be doing nothing for a couple of weeks. Maybe as much as a month because it's, I'll be quite busy work, you know, dealing with the new guide dog um, when that happens. So let me know now if you would like to see me do some live videos while I'm up at the guide dog school. Because um, I got to do some video clips and send them up to the uh, school. That way they can get an idea of how good my mobility using my white cane skills are. And then they'll sit there and decide whether I'm accepted. But if I am accepted, which I'm pretty sure I will be. If I'm up there, would you guys like to see, you know, 
um, a live video, short live video every few days, you know, me maybe, you know, um, showing what's going on or talking about what's going on at the school or showing the new guide or whatever. Let me know down in the comments. Anyways, that's the shave. Once again, thank you, EC, for tagging me. Now the tags are, which are in the title, but the tags are all Sam, so just in case you didn't quite, you know, um, don't remember from the title, the tags are, I am tagging MC Shaving. So, Mad Creations Shaving. At least I imagine that's what the MC stands for, because that's his YouTube, Mag, Mag Creations, or Mag Boy Creations. But anyways, you're tagged to do a budget shave, and I'm going to tag um, Justin, Red Island Shaver. I looked, he doesn't have a tag video on this. He might, you know, he hasn't done a tag video of this yet. So Justin, I'm tagging you. Let's see if you got any razors that are, but any any products that are budget that's not my, made by Christopher Bradley. Anyways, so I hope you all enjoyed the video. I know it was a little long, but you know, um, I had fun. I hope you all had fun. If you're still with me, thank you. Once again, thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you to the long-term subscribers. If you're a fellow YouTuber that I normally watch, uh, and I haven't watched you in a bit, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get back into the videos. But anyways, y'all take it easy. Um, and I'll see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Oh yeah, and likes, comments, subscriptions are always appreciated. And if you do subscribe, please go ahead and do a Kung Fu kick on that bell to get all notifications. Anyways, uh, take it easy. Bye.